Hey, it's me, GB, and welcome to a weird one-off video, ladies and gents. Unless everybody loves this for some reason. This is going to be a guide on how to catch the Citrus Longhorned Beetle in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Long and short of it is I'm not time-traveling in my game, and I want to catch everything that I can catch in March uh, for bugs and for fish, including stuff that's not going away. And one of those things... Okay, can you stop looking so creepy, dude? How, yeah, how about do something... Yeah, do the greetings. That's much better. One of the things is the Longhorned or Citrus Longhorned beetle uh, and it's hard finding information on any of these things uh, because the game is still new and a lot of people just there's a lot of misinformation a lot of uh, you know ambiguity in terms of how to catch certain things I've already caught one of these and I'll show you right here this is what it looks like the citrus longhorned beetle will show it off uh, you can catch this at any time of the year apparently uh, and during, you know, at any actual time, you know, for, during the 24-hour period, but also at any point in March, April, May, whatever. So I'm going to show you how to get one of these, since, again, there's just not a lot of info, and it's pretty tricky. And the name is your hint there, the Citrus Longhorned Beetle. Uh, you need to basically catch this on a stump of a fruit tree. And I don't think it matters what tree that you have, because I have pears, and I'm pretty sure pears aren't considered citrus right so it worked for me having pears if you have oranges i mean that's definitely citrus obviously but i i would assume it's going to work on anything so what i did was i found three of my pear trees we'll see if we get lucky right off the bat i don't have any sound going on right now did my net seriously break when i'm making a video okay let's go pop over and give a little tutorial on how to make a net i guess if, you, if my dude will grab the stump there we go okay so with a net you just need it's like what just the just the soft whatever what or whatever right the tree branches is what i mean yeah uh, that's a fishing rod. Uh, do I have a brain in my skull right now? Where's the net? There it is. Okay, we're gonna craft a flimsy net. We can make a better one with an iron ore, which I have a, quite a few of at this point. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna stick with a flimsy net for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab it. There we are. And then, yeah, if we get lucky, we'll see it right over here. I basically found three of my pear trees and cut them down with the axe. If you don't know, you need an axe. Uh, to cut down a tree, obviously. But see how I have pears here. If you, I, I would bet this works on any fruit tree. But basically, all you have to do is find a fruit tree and then cut it down. And you don't have to do three like I did. You can probably definitely do uh, just one if you don't want to, you know, get rid of two of your trees. Obviously, obviously the, the fruit that's native to your island, there's going to be a lot of that fruit. And you can always take some and, like, replant them. So it's not the biggest deal. I just put three there to, you know, have a higher chance. And then basically all you want to do is keep resetting over and over. And this does... This this bug does show up, and I'll show you right now. If we take a look at the Critterpedia, this bug does show up at any time. So all you need is a fruit tree stump. So there it is. You can see current active hours. The entire thing is yellow. Seasonality, the entire thing is yellow, even though we're in March at whatever time it is, 2.59 p.m. So if we keep resetting over and over and over, eventually... Uh, and again, I don't have sound right now, even though you're going to be hearing sound. I don't have sound, so I can't hear if it pops up. Eventually, it's going to be on one of these stumps. This thing's also really cheap. Uh, it's about, I think, 350 bells or so to sell, uh, which means it shouldn't be too rare. Because, like, you're not going to go out of your way to try to find one of these uh, after you donate it to the museum. Because what's the point? It's a pretty cheap bug. So we'll reset one more time here and see if I get lucky. And if not, I'll just keep doing it until we finally find a citrus longhorned beetle. And I should be running so quickly because it'll scare it away. And finally, there we are. There it is to the top right. This dude's Naruto running over here. And I really hope he doesn't go over there and scare this off. So as you can see, there's the citrus longhorned beetle, and it's spawned on top of the fruit tree stump. So then all you gotta do is take your net out, of course, and hold A on the Switch Pro controller, because why would you be playing anything else? And pause for a nice thumbnail, and yoink! And thus we have... The Citrus Longhorn Beetle. Orange you happy for me, except this is pears, buddy. What are you even talking about? So yeah, that's, that's, there you go. Just want to make this video uh, because I'm sure there's some people out there like me that are trying to find info 
on where the heck to find these things. And again, there's just a lot of misinformation and there's a there's a big void of information just, you know, trying to figure out where the heck to get some of these things. So if you enjoyed this video, it's not typically what I do at all on my channel, uh, but I wouldn't be opposed to doing more of the weirder bug and fish guides uh, because there's some there's some weirder stuff out there, like how to get the fly. That's that's a, that's an odd one, which I might make a video on as well. So either way, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.